Party Women's Council Central Committee, comrades, members of Swapo Party Central Committee, comrades, members of Swapo Party Elder Council Central Committee present, comrades, members of Swapo Party Youth League present, Comrades representing MUNW present this afternoon. Dear comrades, members of the media, I am here to perform two tasks and I have to greet all of us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Allow me to on purpose acknowledge the front row here face seated in front of me. I can see Comrade Eunice Mpinge, former Secretary of Swapo Party Women's Council. Comrade Austin Samukwa, Executive Director in the Office of the Secretary General. I am pleased to have Comrade Tommy Alisola. So that's all. Get away, Arendo. Members of Swapo Party and the Minister of Mind and Energy, allow me to acknowledge the presence of Comrade Hopni E. Pinge, who is here to represent the Secretary of Swapo Party Youth League. Comrade E. Pinge, you are welcome. Comrade Pinge, you are a former Secretary of Swapo Party Women's Council.
Thank you very much, Program Director, Comrade Kadiba Hamtuma. Comrade Kadiba Hamtuma here, she is serving in her capacity as a Vice President of Namibia Exile Kids Association. Comrade, allow me to just allow the protocol to remain as it was established. I would like all of us to put emphasis on the theme of today. Themes are put there with a very good purpose. Let us look at it. Our theme is reimaging inclusive development through service delivery. We have to reimage ourselves. So Apple Party Women's Council, you have to reimage to re all your activities through inclusive development. And that you can do it while you are serving the nation. With me, we make it a point to invite the secretaries for both Swapo Party Elder Council and Swapo Party Youth League so that they join us, so that in all our dealings we think about Swapo Party win. Comrade Masude, the uh, thank you very much, um, Comrade Secretary for the Women Council, Let me also recognize the presence of our Secretary General, Mme. Sophia Shaningwa. And may I please stand on the protocol that was already established by saying all protocol out there. Uh, my name is Ogni Pinken, the Secretary for Education, so my youth league. Uh, we invited through the Secretary of uh, Sopat Youth League, Comrade Nkongo, who is not here, but he delegated me to come and represent our wing. So our speech was already delivered during the official opening of the Sopat Women Council Congress that was uh, recently done. So uh, we are not going to repeat what we said. I think it was uh, documented and the Secretaries have taken note of that and we are happy is your child to have our mother who can also remember us to we are happy to 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 have you because you are our mother and we are looking forward for you to groom us for you at least to show us the direction and we already made it clear that we don't want division we are now facing this difficult year of many many congresses that is where we start to divide each other and we don't want that, we want our mother to lead by example so that we can emulate what you are going to tell us because we want to be young, disciplinary kids or cater because of our mother. Thank you very much and uh, I wish you uh, a successful uh, Central Committee during your deliberation. Thank you. We are not members of this religion, but it's in our country. We can say good morning every day, the whole day. So good morning, good morning, because <laughs> yeah. uh, Thank you, Comrade Francina Kahu, the Secretary for Women's Council, Meme Tusi, Deputy Secretary, and Comrade Sofia Taniwa the Secretary General of the Swapo Party in our country uh, and all protocol observed. My dear women cancer, my dear women, the Congress you have is never seen before. <laughs> this is the best of the best Congress you ever had. And I was very proud. I had a uh, dad in the family, but my spirit was with you. Yes. I said to myself, yes, we are the gateway to life. We are the door to life. 
so we have taken care of, of everything. We have to take care of our children, everybody, everybody. If we are united, women, if women are united, the whole nation will enjoy peace. Remember I say, we are the door to life. If you don't like me to see life, you can do it. If you want me to see life, yes, you can allow me to go that, through that door. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for this, what you have shown to us. Thank you so much. Uh, After the conclusion of the 8th Swapo Party Women's Council Elective Congress, at which we were charged with the responsibility of steering the affairs of the Swapo Party Women's Council for the next five years. Your return, comrades, in such a shorter time for this first Central Committee meeting is a demonstration of your commitment to the cause. Certainly, the execution of the foresight responsibilities entails ensuring the realization of the primary objectives of the Swapo Party Women's Council, which are among others, equality of women and their full participation in the struggle for cultural and economic emancipation. Developing and deepening political understanding among the Namibian women. Bringing about women's full productivity at work and in both the public life, formal and non-formal education, as well as in the cultural creativity space. Causing the conversion of domestic work into a profession that attracts admiration. Advocating for the creation of sufficient nurseries and schools, including day boarding schools as central enablers for women's full participation in productive life of work. Inculcating the sense of justice, respect for human dignity, and life in the Namibian child. Creating a gender awareness and deeper understanding of what its base equality entails. And promoting international solidarity with women and women's organizations of other progressive countries. Dear comrades, although the foregoing are constitutional provisions, as the leadership we should not feel constrained to do more and go beyond the textual prescription. We should therefore strive to reshape, revamp, and rebirth the business of the Swapo Party Women's Council to make it relevant, contemporary, and futuristic. In my view, this call for deliberation, it calls deliberate action on our part among others. Let us look at the following. Evidence-based advocacy. For all practical reasons, the Swapo Party Women's Council advocacy must become evidence-based. In order to achieve this, a stronger Swapo Party Women's Council research and advisory cadre needs to be formed. This group, according to my understanding, will carry out research and propose various interventions to and for consideration by the Swapo Party Women's Council National Leadership. Technically, the group will be a backbone support to the National Executive Committee, including its secretariat, and by extension to the Central Committee. Competent, energetic, and willing members of Swapo Party Women's Council will then have to be appointed to the research and advisory agenda on a voluntary basis. Embracing digital era. I am happy to observe that the majority of you are using your phones right now. And that is what we are advocating, to use these gadgets at the right time. The future of the Swapo Party Women's Council is the young women. The meeting point for more of this conference. I repeat, the meeting point for most of these comrades are digital acts of 
place gone. Therefore, as the leadership of the Swapo Party Women's Council in the digital era, we have no escape route from ITC evolution. ITC information technology communication evolution. Thus, coming up with a digital strategy is a must. Certainly, it is either we adapt or we tend to think. Mentorship initiatives, talent identification, and deployment of young women. For the sustenance of the Swako Party Women's Council, we must be deliberate about mentoring young women. Therefore, we should come with targeted mentorship initiatives. Once young women have been mentored and their talents have been specifically identified and nurtured, we must help in channeling or deploying such talents towards correct application. And you will never have lack of leadership in the future. Yes. I move towards unity and clarity of purpose. Anything and everything that we are trying to do will only be achieved if we are practically, if we are practically united. And the purpose of our existence is never lost upon us. We must consistently and persistently advocate for unity across the rank and file of Swapo Party Women's Council while acting the part of ourselves. Program Director, Comrade Members of the Central Committee, Comrade Presidents, Ladies and Gentlemen,